This is a common question that gets sent to me from readers. Why do people who live in seasonal areas close and winterize their swimming pool so early? I mean, there's lots of time left that you could be swimming before the really cold weather gets here. And the simple answer to that is, you know, maybe a multi-point answer, but the, the main one is that the September long weekend comes and after that, kids go back to school. With kids back in school, that's who is largely using these swimming pools. I mean, it's not exclusively who uses these swimming pools, but for a lot of pool owners, once September comes, the pool hardly gets used at all anymore. And if you're not really using the pool at all anymore, then, I mean, why do you want to go through the trouble of having to maintain it, take care of it, chemically balance it, scoop it, vacuum it, that kind of thing? And on that point, that's the kind of next consideration here. For a lot of people, you're going to go through a season where the the trees start to lose their leaves. And if you have a lot of leaves blowing around your property, that can become a huge maintenance problem where you're just out there every hour on the hour cleaning out the skimmer baskets so your pump isn't running dry and scooping like crazy to remove all of these leaves. And a lot of pool owners, especially experienced pool owners, know that, look, I'm hardly using the pool at all. I am not dealing with all those leaves again. And so they close and winterize early. And in terms of like, well, you could potentially extend your season if you have a gas heater. If you have an electric heat pump, you potentially can extend your heater, but not to the same extent as a natural gas or propane heater. And you might be thinking, well, great, get a heater and use it. The main problem there is simply cost. It costs an awful lot of money to heat a swimming pool to swimmable temperature when it's like a cool fall season or early winter temperatures. It sounds good on paper. It doesn't look good when you get the bill. So unless you're Scrooge McDuck, then probably go ahead and forget about swimming in the, you know, the cold November season. You, you really can't afford to, even if you have an automatic cover, even if you have a solar blanket, which by the way, if you don't have the pool covered and you're trying to heat it in cold weather, you're crazy. You're just dumping money out the window that you could recover by something as simple as a solar blanket. I would say an automatic pool cover is a, a lot superior, but that's not a, a bolt-on item in the same way. Like a solar blanket, you can just pick one up and put it on the pool and benefit immediately from 90 plus percent increase in thermal efficiency in the pool. And when you're, when you're talking about massive costs for heating of water during cold temperatures, then yeah, you better you better get one. But in total, these are the reasons why pool owners, and as I say, especially experienced pool owners, tend to close early as soon as September comes because the pool's not getting used, the maintenance load increases, and it's it's just really not worth it at that point for the amount of time and money that you need to spend. For most people, they just go ahead and close and winterize it. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.